Okay, so next we're going to be installing Bootstrap. These are pretty straightforward instructions. It's just a matter of downloading a file and then uh, getting some additional uh, resources. Not many, just one more file probably. And uh, uploading it to our GitHub account and uh, get it installed. There are no installation files. They're just uh, files that are going to be living inside some folders that we're going to be creating. Uh, specifically, we're going to be creating one new folder in our GitHub uh, account called Bootstrap uh, rather than week 5 just so that we know what it is and where it is. Inside we're going to have three folders. Uh, two of them will be created for us. We're just going to copy them there. Uh, that would be CSS and uh, JS, short for JavaScript. And then we're going to create an images folder which uh, we'll be using at, at, at a later point. So the first thing we will do is uh, visit the Bootstrap website. I have a link for it here. It's getbootstrap.com. Uh, we're going to be downloading a zip file, unzipping it, uh, and uh, then we're going to move it to a new uh, folder that we're going to be creating. Uh, we're also going to be creating a new file at some point, maybe not in this exercise right away, but I'll build one anyway. It's going to be a, a custom CSS file. It'll be called something like my my uh, styles.css uh, and then we're going to be downloading the jQuery library to install. Like jQuery is a uh, JavaScript uh, library that has lots of extra stuff that we can use in this and multiple sites. Now this way of uh, creating a uh, bootstrap page seems kind of long because it, maybe it is. Uh, later on in, in a future assignment, perhaps the next one, we're going to be uh, adding some tags and links to our index page that will actually just uh, tap on to a Google repository and get all of the information from there. But then this way you can see what the big mess of CSS uh, can do uh, to, make a, to make a file and a web page work. So let me then move on to the Bootstrap web website and uh, the current uh, version of Bootstrap is Bootstrap 4. Uh, Bootstrap 3 was very popular, but it's being um, gradually uh, replaced by Bootstrap 4. It's been around for a while. It's fairly steady. So uh, without further ado, there's lots of information, by the way. You can go and read everything about this and, and, and search more information about Bootstrap. I'm just going to download the file. And uh, it tells me that I have multiple options. One, I said, you know, we do have uh, the, the ability to just copy these links and add them to a uh, page. And then this way, it will just link directly to a repository. It's already compiled. Uh, but rather than that, we're going to just download uh, the files, the CSS and JavaScript. They're already ready to use. And uh, all we got to do is just download it. It's asking me where to put it. I'm going to put it in some, somewhere where I can find it in my desktop inside this files folder. You could put it in your, you could leave it in your uh, download folder. You can put it in your desktop just as long as you can go and find it because you're going to basically cut it and paste it or just move it somewhere else. So that should be downloading. I'm going to follow the download from Firefox and open up that folder. It's inside of files. I'll move this a little bit out of the way. I'm going to tell it to uh, un actually tell it to extract all those files. It'll give me, uh, I do believe it's, it'll give me the two folders that are inside. Extract all. Let me bring the window that popped up. Uh, so there's going to be a Bootstrap 431 distribution. That's the current version of Bootstrap. And this folder now will contain the two folders that I was talking about. Now, we won't be making many changes to these files. These are already set up by Bootstrap. All the JavaScript has been written and compiled. All the CSS has been mapped out and laid out. So uh, we'll be adding things to the files, but not necessarily change these files. I also have my Visual Studio Code running. So that will help me figure out where to put these. Currently, we have a week three and a week four folder inside of our main site. Uh, I opted not to go with a week five so that we could specifically say this is the bootstrap site. 
And so let me right click uh, somewhere in the side and and have it show it show me where these files are. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna reveal and explore. On a Mac, it would tell you to reveal and finder, and it's showing me the whole folder where week three, week four, and uh, the index file and the README markdown file that we created are still living in. If I switch back to the folder where the files that I just extracted are, then these two, these are two folders. I'm going to copy these or even just move them straight into the uh, GitHub repository folder. In this case, mine is ITSC1401, just your username.github.io. And both of them just move them into the uh, into the folder and actually I put them in the root folder they should be in the folder that I said I was going to create so I'm going to right click and tell it to create a new folder uh, way down here at the bottom it's a new folder and that's just going to be called bootstrap now CSS can go in there as well as JavaScript. Both just moved a little bit. Double click and I see that the files and all their components are inside. Okay, so now from Visual Studio Code, I see that my bootstrap folder is available as is J, uh, JS and CSS. I'm going to create a new file, so just click on bootstrap and tell it to give me a new file and I'll call this one not necessarily index because we're, we're going to create a, another file later. I'm going to call this one hello.html and uh, and there it is. So not much to look at other than we have a, a blank file with uh, two folders full of other files. So we need to go into uh, a link that I provided. It's also in the assignment uh, and it says uh, after you create this hello.html file in your bootstrap folder, we're going to copy and paste the code from the bootstrap for starter page. This is code that's already provided by bootstrap. It's uh, real straightforward. It's just a hello world. Uh, you'll see that this uh, declares HTML. It switches it to English and then it has some special codes that tell the, uh, tell the site that this is going to be a, uh, a responsive design that is going to be able to be viewed on a mobile device and uh, that is going to be loading up at the bootstrap uh, CSS file and then it's going to say hello world and it's going to run a couple of scripts that's information at the bottom and all I got to do is click on this copy button and then go back to my blank page I'm going to right click and paste it so now I have this file inside or rather the code inside the hello.html file. Now that I have pasted that, I'm going to uh, go and click on my Git button on the left. I see that there's all these files that are new and some of them are JavaScript and some of them are just uh, CSS. And I'll be sure to say on this message that we have uh, loaded, loaded the uh, bootstrap framework. I'm going to click on the check mark to commit, save all the files and commit. Wait for a second and then on my contextual menu tell it to push and then these files will be pushed up to my repository. I'll switch back to my Google Chrome and I see my file as it looked a little while ago. I'm going to reload it. Or rather, this is the repository. Bootstrap has been uploaded. It's uh, in a folder called Bootstrap. And I have a hello.html. And I have the CSS files as well as the JavaScript files. One thing that I can do also while I'm thinking about it is uh, if I go back to Visual Studio Code, and I look at my, explore my, my files, find my index page from the very front, this index.html, and make a copy of the last link that I created. I'll select the whole text and tell it to copy. And then at the very end, I'll press Enter and press Control-V or right-click Paste. 
I can then change the link to go instead of to the week four page to have to go to the bootstrap page in my text that will actually display tell it that this is week five and that rather than saying apply CSS to the first page just say published my first bootstrap page and I'll save this file save I will confirm in my source control in the git button and type in the message uh, pushed bootstrap or actually we already did that and then just say linked to bootstrap and then commit the file and upload it by pushing it clicking on the contextual menu tell it to push I'll go back to my browser and see what's going on with my bootstrap stuff if I click on well bootstraps already there but if I click on index I see that my code is here for bootstrap slash in week five published my first bootstrap page and I'm hoping then that when I return to my website if I reload I will have the link and I'll click on it and I'll get an error uh, specifically probably because I told it to go into the folder but did not specify the file since uh, my project currently or, and maybe your project does not have an index page rather we named it um, hello we need to specify with a, uh, a direct link bootstrap slash hello dot html you'll notice that although in the assignments and in other places where I type verbiage that I use uh, capital letters and lowercase when I when I write words whenever I'm specifying the names of file names I rather just use all lowercase the system will get confused if you mix them up so now that I made that correction I can I can try to commit save all and commit tell it again to push and with the commit message uh, corrected a file link and just for safety I'll push it again and maybe sending it twice will give me a heads up it's still not there but I'm trusting that it's making its way up there if I look at the index page then now it's looking for hello.html and if I try to reload this page uh, well it, it won't see it because I'm, I'm looking for a blank file why don't I do this the easy way and load up my actual page that then will take me straight to hello.html inside of a bootstrap folder in my github.io website and if I right click on this page and I view the page source you'll see the um, the uh, sample source that we used you'll see that all the special CSS coding is added at the top there's links to the CSS file you might want to see this either in your folder or once you publish it the bootstrap although this is this is the minimize CSS file it's been crunched down where it's basically unreadable machines will read this all day long but human beings we we just will need something else uh we'll need a web page that explains all these things to us lucky for us uh, web design tools provides us with a way to use this uh, uh, framework to its full potential uh, we'll be adding more content and creating new pages in our bootstrap folder